Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this presentation which is titled Hot Dip Tin Coated Strip. My name is Robert Sauter and I represent the company Wielandwerke, business unit road products. Hot Dip Tin Coated Strip made of copper and copper alloys for applications in the electric and the electronic industry is one of the major products of Wieland and very popular for connector applications. Hot dip tin coated copper strip is produced in an industrial scale in several Wieland plants in Europe and the United States. The strip is coated after it had been rolled to final thickness but before being slid to the final width. The coating thickness is clearly specified. After the coating process the material is in form of white coils and is located on pallets. You see, strip surface and edges are covered with silvery shining tin. After being slit, the slitting edges are partially bare and have copper color. Let's have a closer look to the surface. There are some optical effects from which you can see that it is not a galvanic coating. Typically, crystallization patterns have developed. Sometimes they are nearly invisible and sometimes they are pretty clearly recognizable. The reason is that the tin was liquid when deposited on the copper surface and subsequently solidified during the coating process. These effects are typical and do not represent a defect. According to DIN EN Standard number 13148, such visible effects are acceptable. The following presentation will answer the question why tin coating is necessary at all. It will explain the different types of hot dip tin coatings which are available as well as their properties. Frequently I am asked wouldn't a bare copper surface be sufficient as a connector's contact surface? My clear answer is no. A tin coating is mandatory in order to ensure a perfect electrical contact over the entire lifetime of a connector. I'd like to visualize this in an analogon. Imagine there is an acre in winter time, frozen and without snow. A cross-country skier stands on it. He won't have good contact. The surface roughness is high and there are only a few contact spots. The situation improves after snow has fallen and the sun is shining and creates a thin icy top layer, the snow crust. The skier now has a good contact. He breaks through the snow crust and sinks into the soft snow. Now we transfer this situation to bare and tin coated copper strip. The bare strip has a certain surface roughness. The tin coating covers the surface and is soft like the snow with a thin crusty natural tin oxide film on top. The cross country skier corresponds to the connector's mating partner. It becomes obvious that the tin coating is necessary and generates a permanent excellent electrical contact. Let me now introduce different hot dip tin coating types which are available. The most frequently used coating is SN Pure, a pure tin coating which exhibits a copper tin intermetallic layer between the base material and the pure tin. This intermetallic layer is process inherent and very useful. SNTEM consists of intermetallic phase only. This is achieved by a temperature treatment. All free tin has disappeared. SN top is a more precious coating and consists of tin and 4% silver. The top coating layer consists of pure tin and tin silver particles. Let me demonstrate that the reality is conformed with the schematic drawings. 
This is a cross section of a pure copper strip coated with SN Pure. In fact, all the different layers are visible. In case that the strip material is a bronze or a copper nickel silicon alloy, the appearance is similar. The intermetallic crystals grow a little bit more irregular and only one of the two intermetallic faces exists. This is well known and state of the art. The purpose of the coating is very well fulfilled and the coatings perform excellent. SNTEM consists of intermetallic phase only. The cross-section and chemical analysis confirm this. The cross-section of SN top shows the intermetallic phase, the residual pure tin as well as the tin silver particles which are visible as small fair dots at the interface between intermetallic phase and pure tin. Chapter 3 the properties of the three different hot tip tin coating types. As in pure provides an excellent electrical contact to the mating partner. In case of a solder connection, high layer thicknesses provide an optimum solderability. As in pure is whisker safe. The SNTEM layer is very hard and thus ensures low mating forces as well as wear resistance, which might be of interest if multiple mating cycles are foreseen. It is also whisker safe. SN Top also provides an excellent electrical contact to the mating partner, even if service temperatures are higher than usual. Of course, SN Top is also whisker safe. The main properties are summarized in this table. Application temperature limits, normal forces, and finally the effect of coating thickness on the reduction of the mating forces. Thin coatings are beneficial in this regard. SNTEM is particularly effective in this respect. A few more words about whiskers. The spectra of whisker formation and growth is a typical risk with simple electroplated tin coatings. But don't worry, hot tip tin coatings are whisker safe. They are resistant to the formation and the growth of whiskers. The official associations of the electronic industry, which are the INAMI and the German ZVEI, recommend hot tip tin coatings as a whisker safe coating. With this slide, I reached the end of my presentation. I hope that I attracted your attention. In case you have questions, just drop me an email or phone me directly. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.